G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. And I'm going to kick off a wine that I had for the first time, what, about two hours ago? Probably about two hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> Went out to lunch with uh, Andrew, the winemaker from Blue Pyrenees. And this is the Blue Pyrenees Shiraz. Now, they've got a couple of different levels of Shiraz. This is just the, uh, to use a phrase, the bog standard. You know, $18 RRP, easily available under that in most bottle shops that you'll find it. But this is a ripper little wine, as you'll see by the loads of gold medals across the top of this fellow. Look, the thing that really impressed me when having lunch and tasting through a range of Blue Pyrenees is that they've moved back to a sense of place with the wines. These are really Pyrenees wines. Now, that should be the case with a label that says Blue Pyrenees across the front of it. But back in the early noughties and uh, a little bit before, they were wines that were trying to be something else. They were trying to fit into the mould of the big, bold Barossa and Shiraz, and it shouldn't be like that. It should be exactly like this wine is, which is supple, smooth, a hint of pepper, but just a hint. And, you know, some little spices on there. I picked up a little star anise. Andrew was telling me he picks up cardamom on it. It is a lovely little wine, and as I say, $18 and under, that's a ripper, and the show notes across the front, the labels, say that I'm not the only one to think so, so have a look out for that. And the other thing to note about this wine, this is the current release, and it's a 2006, so this has already got four years bottle age, it's developing nicely in the bottle, at under $20, it, it was really the standout in terms of value for money across their range, at fantastic value. Yeah, could have possibly picked the Cabernet from the same range, but... I'm told that that's just about out of stock. So let's talk about something you can actually get your hands on. Yeah, it was a ripper. Now, talking about another little ripper, and this is another ripper Riesling that we haven't done on the show before, and this is the Annie's Lane Riesling. Now, long-time viewers of the show will know we like our Rieslings. In particular, we like our Clare Valley Rieslings, and this is another offering from the Clare. And again, it just it's remarkable the value for money you can get across these Clare Valley Rieslings. So this Annie's Lane uh, recommended retails around about the $20 mark, but you will see this discounted well, well under that around the sort of $15 mark in a, in a lot of places. So at that price, you are getting a fantastic white wine here. This is a Riesling that will match it with many of the others, not just in the Clare Valley, but across the country. And for $15, you can't go wrong. And he's like, the, this will also age a, a little bit, give this a couple of years in the cellar, um, and it will develop those lovely aged Riesling characters that we talk about a fair bit. And if you're getting a $15 wine that you can put away for a few years and develop those nice little uh, honeyed notes on it, then it's a real bargain. So the Annie's Lane Riesling, really worth a look. Yeah, if you can hold on to that for a few years, you're probably doing better than me, because that's a beauty for a Friday night feed. Anyhow, as Brad says, if you follow us a fair bit, you know we talk about Rieslings. The other thing you might know about the pair of us is that we're mad footy fans, specifically Essendon, the Bombers. We're both nutbags for the boys. We've been following them a long time. Let's say we've been following them since we were born. Yes, I'm third generation. It just flows in the family. But speaking of a fair bit of age, Dustin <laughs> Fletcher. Don't talk about <laughs> Fletch like that. No, he's 35, the oldest man going around in the AFL these days. And uh, the Essendon's football club's wine partner, Mitchelton Priest, have put together a wine specifically to mark him becoming the second longest serving player at the Essendon Footy Club. So this is the Fletcher 321, and this weekend he plays his 321st game. Now this is a drink now, not seller for, what is it now? He was, Another 321 games? Yeah, not, <laughs> not seller for uh, 20 odd years, because he's been going along almost that long. This is a drink now wine. It's a Shiraz Merlot 2009 blend. Ripped it open yesterday just to be certain because we were probably going to be uh, partial to talking about it on the show. But it's a great little wine. It is definitely a drink now quaffer. Uh, but $50 for a half dozen case means that it's, you know, it's sub $10 a bottle. Mm. And when we find a sub $10 bottle that we like, we always talk it about it on the show. So the fact that it's got Essendon on it, just made us do it just that <laughs> little bit more. So, yeah, hit uh, snnfc.com.au or yeah, 
harangue the guys at Mitchelton over the phone if you need some of this. And if you're a, uh, a true red and black fan like us, you'll have some of those for, uh, for your Barbies coming along. Yeah, and look, and we should say congratulations to Fletch because he's a stalwart of the club and still playing tremendous football. Yeah, for the footy fans out there, you'll know what I mean when I say go, go, gadget, wine. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for Wine Week this week. We'll see you all again before Fletcher's 322nd game. See you next week.